Hello, welcome to your study break or your work break, whatever that means for you in your life. This is a really quick, just nice stretch to kind of get out of the slump that I always talk about when I teach on these videos and to really flush out some joints so that you can go back to your work or your studies and you have a little bit of energy boost and you have a little bit of that feel good, I can do this kind of attitude instead of that lethargic trying to push through things just to get them done. So this is exactly what I've designed this class for. Something quick, something sweet, something you could probably do multiple times throughout your work day or even during your study time. This practice was also going to infuse some of my yoga stability Katona method learnings that I've been studying for well over a year now. I'm, a, I'm about to launch a brand called Yoga Stability and it's going to be all about keeping ourselves stable, cross-referencing ourselves to find stability, also to open up our organs and to really, really feel good without always having to use our muscles and overextend ourselves in our yoga practice. Instead, we take our bones and we work from our bones and our structure because my shoulders are different than your shoulders and your ankles are different than my ankles and we really flush out joints and learn to work from the frame of our own body of our bones versus how stretchy are your hamstrings or how high can you reach. We put boundaries on ourselves with my Yoga Stability brand and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to infuse a little bit of that into here. For those of you who have watched my Mojo Yoga interview, I did say I would be offering more of that. I promise next month I'm going to have a Yoga Stability video for you. So keep up with me and you'll see that in November. So grab a block or a book or a water bottle as I always say. It doesn't have to be a block but it has to be something that can support your weights. And all you're going to do is place it over on your right side. This is going to be short and sweet, but feel oh so good. Come up on your knees, toes tucked or not tucked, your choice. And just place the block straight down. Hands can be on a palm, or you can come up on the fingertips. I like my fingertips. We're just going to reach over, lift the left arm up as you inhale. Good now. My right arm is a little bent, as you can see. Push that straight. I like to actually take my imaginary jar cue that I've given before. Imagine you're going to open up a jar. You energetically turn your hand that way. So you keep out of the shoulders. Keep pushing through the tops of your feet. If your toes are tucked, keep pushing into those toes. Good. Keep breathing. The right shoulder, it's going to go in the ears. Keep pushing through the right hand to get out of it. Good, release it down. Exhale. Whew, just feel that for a moment. Hmm. Then take this block, move it a little bit further to the right. So we're still on the same side. A little bit further. Good, so make that right arm pretty straight without trying to lean over and grasp it. You still want to be pretty upright, pretty stable in the hips, just so that right arm is straight as you begin. Instead of just straighten it after we begin, we're going to straighten it before we begin. So I untuck my toes. I like to push in the tops of my feet in this pose. Inhale, lift the left arm over. I'm on my right fingertips. Once again, keeping that right shoulder out of the ears. Reach, reach, reach. Push through the tops of the feet to lift you higher. Okay, this can happen. If you look, you can go way over and you completely lose the integrity of the pose. Keep the hips 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Push into the tops of the feet. Breathe. Good, exhale it down. Sit the bum down. Just sit for a moment, grab the block. Hmm. Guys, we're going to move that to the other side. So left side now close to your body. So like your left arm will be bent like we did on the right side. Lift the right arm up. Fingertips. And this imaginary jar cue that I give you, once again, you're not actually turning your hands as if you're opening a jar, but you have the energetic notion to do exactly that. Okay. Inhale. Right arm up. Straighten the left arm. Find that imaginary jar opening. So taking the elbow facing it forward. Really push the tops of the feet. If your toes are tucked, 
push to the tops of the toes. Reach out of the hips, get over yourself, get off of yourself. By reach, 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 reaching, breathe. Good, exhale, come down. Move that block a little bit more over to the left. Come back up, left arm is straight. Inhale, lift the right arm up and reach. So it doesn't have to be the crazy back bend using your muscles or side bend. It doesn't have to be what it looks like, just what it feels like. Keep your bones stable, they're not gonna move, okay? We're not gonna keep trying to effort with our muscles. We have a boundary and our hips will let us know as soon as the right hip starts to pull forward, you've gone too far, use your bones as a reference. Keep breathing. Good, exhale, drop the knees, drop the hands, come to seated. Close the eyes, just breathe for a moment. Good, release the block or whatever you have for the block. We're gonna come to hands and knees and all we're gonna do is circle around the wrists. Tuck the toes here. 